Hi everyone, it's Gonzia here. So the official character teaser for Hu Tao has been out, both the English and Japanese one. So let's watch the English and the Japanese uh, both versions. I'll do some comments and reactions and we also compare them. I am really really hyped for Hu Tao. So <laughs> let's let's check it out. The video is really cute, the character. Give you a fright? Honestly, who comes to Wuhong Hill in the middle of the night? This place isn't as safe as you'd believe me. Come with me. I'm Hu Tao, Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor Director. Let me help you cross over. Ah, yeah. Help you cross over the hill, not cross into the afterlife. Huh? And why are the butterflies our guides? Well... Because they want to be sealies when they grow up. <laughs> Though that walking encyclopedia Zhongli would no doubt have a completely different explanation. Okay, you should be safe from here. Next time, don't go running around in dangerous places. Of course, if you really insist on adventuring, then be my guest. Adventurers are our VIP clients after all. We even have coupons for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you have a travel buddy? We're having a sale. Second client, half price. Okay, so let's watch this one round with comments. In the reaction itself, basically. I want to let you guys enjoy the video without any comments. <laughs> Give you a fright? Honestly, who comes to Wuhong Hill in the middle of the night? Where is she this here, place right? Why is she here? Believe me. Come with me. I'm Hu Tao, Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor Director. Let me help you cross over. When someone smiles at you like this and asks you to come with them in the middle of the night and saying that they will help you cross over, do you think you will follow? Ah, uh, yeah. Help you cross over the hill, not cross into the afterlife. Huh? And why are the butterflies our guides? Well, because they want to be sealies when they grow up. <laughs> Though that walking encyclopedia is really like the no doubt have here, a right? completely different because explanation. Because she's basically the boss of Zhongli in the funeral parlor. Okay, you should be safe from here. Next time, don't go running around in dangerous places. Of course, if you really insist on adventuring, then be my guest. Adventurers are our VIP clients after all. We even have coupons for you. <laughs> it's like she wants you to die. Oh, do you and have a travel, travel buddy? As buddy? Well. We're having a sale. Second client, half price. <laughs> Alright, so the English one isn't too bad. She's pretty cute. Uh, but I'll show you guys the Japanese. Uh, VA has done a better job. It's even cuter. So let's check out the Japanese one. どろいたもう、こんな夜遅くに何しに来たのここはあなたが思ってるほど安全な場所じゃないよ。私は王女堂の同士フータ。あなたを送ってあげる。ああ、そっちの意味じゃなくて、参道を送るって意味ね。え、
Don't you guys find that the Japanese VA's uh, voice has a lot more uh, tone differences to it? And you definitely feel the prankster in, in Hu Tao. I, I don't know about you guys, but that's my personal feel. Maybe I'm biased because after all, I watch Japanese anime in Japanese voice. I play the game in Japanese voice and English text. So maybe. But I do find that she speaks a lot better, especially the intro, intro portion. こんな夜遅くに何しに来たの？ここはあなたが思ってるほど安全な場所じゃないよ。私は王城堂の道主フータを。あなたを送ってあげる。ああ、そっちの意味じゃなくて参道を。And this portion here where she says "ah," not the uh, meaning. It's a lot more natural than the English one. The English one says "aya." I I don't know. I thought in "aya" isn't really a English kind of thing to say. Thought it's more. Uh, English or Chinese, actually. Ah, yeah. Help you cross over the hill, not cross into the afterlife. So it felt a bit forced huh? to me. Uh, I don't know whether I am having a biased perception here, but it does feel a bit forced to me. While the Japanese one, I feel it's a very, very natural. Just ah. Ah, so it's not English, not the Sando or Kurut Taimine. Not to mention the way she says it's a lot cuter. Okay, in case you guys didn't know, right? The the Japanese VA is actually a very renowned uh, VA. She's also the one who voiced uh, Amelia, the female lead in ReZero, and also Megumi in Kondo Soba. Uh, Megumi, the character that always has only one spell, Explosion. So, uh, if you guys have not watched those anime animes, right? Remember to check them out. I actually find them very enjoyable. Uh, the Re Zero is more of a action together with character growth and romance, and emotions quite heavy on emotions. And the Konosuba, where the, the where the which is the one that has Megumi, that is more of a comedy, very silly kind of comedy. So depends on your mood, which one you want to watch. But I definitely do recommend checking them out. And you'll appreciate why I like the Japanese VA so much. The English VA this time round for Hu Tao is also actually pretty good. She's also the one who voiced Ram in Re Zero. So Re Ram is another character in Re Zero. So she happens to be the English VA for the uh, Ram in the English dub version of Re Zero. So anyway, I am really really hyped for Hu Tao. And with this official character teaser being out, it means that She's definitely going to be the next character on the new character banner. Because so far we have not had any official indication, although everyone has already expected and speculated that it's her. I have even gone so far as to do deep dive on her kit as well as her artifacts and her weapons. So I'll put the links in the description below and you remember to check those out if you have not already checked those out. So I will help plan help you to plan how to get uh, what are the artifact upgrades to look for based on what weapon you are using. And as for the uh, English dub of the character teaser as well as the uh, Japanese dub, I'll put the links to both videos as well in the description. So definitely encourage you guys to check out the original version. It's really entertaining to watch. I think she's really cute. And I think I'm really scared by her. You know, the whole concept of where she's trying to scare you. Because I'm scared I'm going to pull C6 on her. I was initially thinking that I'll just pull C3. But... It looks like we'll be pulling C6, but well, at least I can do a showcase for you guys the cheat death effect of her C6. And we can, uh, I'll definitely do the stream as well as the play test on her DPS play test, as well as the generally speaking, the character itself. So, watch out for that. I will definitely schedule it ahead of time. And thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're as hyped as I am. I'm really, really happy that uh, the character design is as cute as we have uh, been hoping for. So, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!